A violent scooter accident just last week in Bermuda left professional golfer Grayson Murray unconscious and ultimately caused him to withdraw from the upcoming PGA Tour competition. How did this accident happen? Is Murray okay now? Stay tuned to find out everything you need to know about Murray, along with other must-watch golf news. First up, PGA Tour player Grayson Murray has recently been involved in a terrifying scooter accident. So what exactly happened? Let's take a look. Grayson Murray, who was supposed to compete in the 2022 Butterfield Bermuda Championship this week, withdrew after being involved in a serious scooter accident. Now, if you weren't already aware, scooters are Bermuda's most convenient form of transportation because tourists are not allowed to rent cars. This past Tuesday, Murray returned to his hotel after spending the afternoon at the beach, and at around 4 p.m., he navigated around a bend and almost hit the center line. Murray then collided with the corner of a car and rolled 20 feet as the automobile on the other side similarly approached the center line. Furthermore, Doug Schwimmer, Murray's caddy for the week, was traveling on a different scooter just behind him and attempted to halt and assist as he saw the incident unfold. Schwimmer went off because he was moving too fast to stop in time, but he merely suffered from road rash and wasn't sent to the hospital, unlike Murray. Murray was left unconscious after the collision, but faintly remembers waiting for the ambulance. Murray, who is 29 years old, only has one PGA Tour victory, which he earned back at the 2017 Barbasol Championship. Although Murray did not break any bones, he did require 50 stitches, including 25 on his face, 10 on his leg, and the rest of his body. After arriving back at his North Carolina home, he intends to see a specialist because he thinks he may have sustained some ligament damage in his knee. Johnson Wagner, who entered the field as an alternate due to Murray's mishap, will now be caddied by Schwimmer because Murray is unable to compete and withdrew from the Bermuda competition. Since Schwimmer was already on the island, Murray advised him to caddy for another participant in the competition when Schwimmer asked whether it was okay. Speaking of Murray, he has now been forced to withdraw from the upcoming Bermuda Championship. This week, Grayson Murray withdrew from the Bermuda Championship following a serious scooter accident he had on the island. We now know that on Tuesday afternoon, Murray was returning to his hotel on a scooter, a common mode of transportation on the island, when he collided with an approaching car. Now, following the accident, he spoke out and decided to thank his followers for their well wishes following the accident on Instagram. Got real lucky, and the man upstairs was looking after me again. It's going to take more than a car to kill this kid. Although he withdrew last season to address substance misuse and mental health concerns, he earned one top 25 result and four cuts in 12 appearances. Next, there is a slight glimpse into the live golf stars and their wives and how they've been spending big using the enormous prize money. It makes sense that golf's celebrities and their companions are having a grand old time with the more than $1 billion to play with. However, it's no secret that the golf industry has essentially been torn apart this year by the most contentious startup within the sport's history, which is being directed by Australian golfing superstar Greg Norman and offers prize money that doesn't even compare to that of the PGA Tour. Despite players being mocked for selling out and not receiving official world ranking points, Live Golf, which is supported by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, launched successfully this year with more and more pros ditching the PGA. Now the Live Team Championship, aka the Tourist Conclusion, will take place this weekend at Miami's Blue Monster at Doral, which Donald Trump controversially owns. It appears that everyone is celebrating its early success. In recent news, while partying on the Live circuit with players, partners, and families, Paulina Gretzky and Jenna Sims have been giving fans a close-up view of life in the spotlight and life after winning from the huge prize pool. The spouses of golfers Dustin Johnson and Brooks Kepka Gretzky and Sims, respectively, shared a glimpse of the tour's welcoming party with fans on Thursday via their Instagram stories. Sims, who married Kepka, now age 32, earlier this year in an extravagant vacation wedding, wore a green and black Camilla Coelho little dress with a plunging neckline for the big event. She accessorized the edgy outfit with a pair of black knee-high boots. Kepka, the captain of Live Golf's Smash GC team, and Sims posed for pictures later in the evening. Sims claimed that after posting pictures for her 250,000 followers, she was deluged with comments on Instagram, saying that her risk-taking outfit stole the show. Meanwhile, Gretzky, the daughter of hockey icon Wayne Gretzky, is pictured posing with her best friend, Christina Malnichenko, in a black costume in a picture that she posted on her Instagram story. According to Sports Illustrated, Johnson, who left the PGA Tour this past spring, won the Live Golf Invitational season-long individual title in early October. This victory came with an $18 million prize, so it is understandable why the couple is having a great time. This week, reports also revealed that Live had blown through an astounding $1.2 billion on its debut tour, meaning various players took home insane amounts, amounts they have never even come close to when competing 
remaining within the PGA Tour. Furthermore, according to the same reports, when the tour expands to include 14 events worldwide, the cost will increase to $1.5 billion this next year. Pretty insane, right? But what is your opinion on these new live golfers who are spending their newfound wealth so publicly? As we all know, the money that they win since it hails from Saudi is highly questionable and controversial, with many enraged that these golfers continue to turn a blind eye. Do you believe these players who compete in the live should also be allowed to compete in the PGA competitions? Let us know your thoughts. And finally, Trump argues that the PGA Tour blew it and boasts of Liv's infinite money. This past week, former President Donald Trump began his campaign against the PGA Tour by applauding Liv Golf and the Saudis for doing a terrific job. Trump properties are hosting events in Liv's inaugural season, including this week's season finale at Trump National Doral, and will add a third next season at his course in Washington, D.C. Trump called Liv Golf big time with unlimited money. Trump also claimed that the PGA Tour really blew a great opportunity. Trump also suggested that Liv would continue to rob the PGA. He stated, and by the way, plenty of other people are coming over. And as we have seen, this is very true, as large names Trump talked about for a while after the pro-am of the competition have moved away from the PGA Tour and joined the highly lucrative Liv Tour instead. So as you can see, it is painfully evident that Trump has sided with Liv, the contentious tour funded by the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, mostly due to his overall dislike of the PGA Tour. The PGA Tour moved its World Golf Championship event out of Doro and to Mexico in 2017, and the PGA of America moved the 2022 PGA Championship out of Trump's club in Bedminster following the January 6, 2021 uprising at the U.S. Capitol. These events are the causes of Trump's anger towards professional golf and the PGA Tour as a whole. Additionally, the PGA Tour is breaking into players' pension fund, according to the former president, in order to pay for greater prize money. Additionally, according to PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan, the tour is tapping into reserves to subsidize increased payouts. However, it should be noted that this is all speculation currently, not facts. Furthermore, this week's event at Doral had a record purse of 50 million US dollars, 78 million Australian, funded by Saudi Arabia's 620 billion US dollar, Australian 960 billion, National Investment Fund. Now, the Live Tour has committed unprecedented sums of money in the sport. However, Live Golf is being criticized for engaging in sports washing, a strategy used to divert attention from Saudi Arabia's record on human rights. In addition, there is also a lot of tension between the PGA and Live Tour, so much so that there are currently several court cases in progress, with little to no indication that the two organizations will ever reach a solution. Speaking of this, Roy McElroy, the current world number one, expressed concern just this week that the breakup would be irreparable for the sport as a whole. But what do you think? Is the Live Golf League here to stay? Do you think the divide between the PGA and the Live Tour will ever be resolved? Only time will tell at this point, but it is certainly a long shot at best. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Grayson Murray and the terrifying scooter accident he was involved in, and what this means for his participation, or lack thereof, in the Bermuda Championship. Now make sure you let us know your thoughts down below. Were you shocked by Murray's accident? Do you think he'll heal up quickly and be back on the field in no time? What do you think of the Live Tour? Is it here to stay? Let us know, and as always, thanks for watching.